Uh, yo, it's your boy Dollars. You already know, and we here at the Six Views Uncut podcast. Let's get it. Who's going up uh, against those guys from down south? There or up top? There, yeah, bro, yeah. Yo, you know we're gonna tell them that when we, when we arrest them, right? Like we're gonna be like, yo, that song that you dropped it was hard. <laughs> Yo, I'm, I'm putting this on camera. You imagine that, eh? Like, you're, well, not you, a boy, but a boy comes and arrests you and be like, yo, Friday. Yo, these cell phones in here. That one right there, that one was hard, fam. You don't know if you're whether, whether it's being, um, like, I don't know, thank you or. Thank you, fuck you, fam. <laughs> yo, six views, uncut. Hold on, let me get in camera. Let me get position. Six views, uncut, episode 44, all right? Uh, we're going to get a little uh, deep RIP to DMX. You know what I'm saying? We lost the GOAT this week. So, song of the week, we're going to hit it up with DMX. All right? Friday, can you run? RIP to GOAT. We're gonna go into the second song of the week, man. Requested by Dollar Boy. Better not like today, cause you could get packed today. I ran up a back today. Where I'm from, that's that the way. So I saw the Jane, we put that shit on the map. There's only loads there. Six views uncut, episode 44. Uh, really quick before we get into it, that's. That sounds a problem, fam. <laughs> well, packed today? Packed today, today. Or today? Like, I was talking to Gucci earlier. And the song running in my living room, fam. Gucci like, who's playing that? I was like, oh, that's just my youth. The youngest one. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's just running that. I came outside. Thanks for letting me listen to that song. No, no, you shouldn't be listening to that fucking song, bro. But it's your boy, Gutsy Guts, Guts Gotti, Nobly G, Viral G, in the building again. Six views uncut. Yo, man like me, do not know how to like match my clothes with the weather and all them things that's going on. <laughs> Somebody help me, B. I need some help, help with this whole him. drip thing, fam. I can't get it, but you already know. Um, six views uncut. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment, do all whatever. All the three of them there, four of them there. Make sure all you, that good shit. Yeah, all that good stuff. Make sure you do that, man. And yeah, we're gonna have a, a, a nice little pod in today. Uh before we just get into everything, obviously, we lost DMX this week. Uh, we've been speaking about it all week. You know, he's been in the hospital. Uh damn, man. It was sad. That's a legend, and it still hasn't kicked into me yet. Like, I still don't want to believe that, even though everything's just happened. Yeah. It's just like, no, fam. Like, I start back watching old movies and stuff. Like, I, I, I seen a clip of him when he, like, somebody was just like, Oh, I'm not leaving here until I get my, my autograph. And the man was like, like Oh, you're dissing because you know, what do you mean? I'm dissing. I don't have to give you my autograph. Like, you, you feel like you're entitled. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, he just. I really don't th- like. We didn't appreciate him as much as we should have, fam. Yeah, and like, you know, for a man that's dealt with demons, a lot of times, just because we're a lot, a lot of us are street niggas, we'll be ready to like crack jokes. But mm-hmm. like, addiction is not no joke. Facts. You know what I'm saying? R. I. P. X. Man. R. I. P. Yeah. R. I. P. Um, we, we don't want to stay too long on it because we've been speaking about it all week, and you know, condolences to his family, his friends, everybody. Um, really quick too. Yo, y'all people got to chill. The internet has to chill. Like, I know y'all want to be the first, but the day before, like, everybody was just like, yo, he's dead. He's dead. He's dead. I think, what was it? Was it Lunel that put out? Lunel yeah. that put out something? Salute to the comedian Lunel. She, she, um, she was kind of paraphrased. She didn't say he was dead. She said, when a man's spirit leaves his body, like, he's basically considered he's, past, yeah. right? Not in those words, but like, close enough. Yeah, man, that that was sad because I seen that and then like immediately, I, I'm not gonna front. I seen all the Toronto pages do it. Like every Toronto page, not at all of them, but most of the Toronto pages jumped on that, bro. Earl's dead, DMX passed. Sources are saying he passed, and then like me being me, first place I went was TMZ. I'm like, yo, if, if TMZ didn't report it, this shit's fake. And I know people would have been riding on TMZ over the years and shit like that, but TMZ is the spot, fam. Like. They get everything first. And when I went on there, I went on Shade Room, I went on Academics. I, fe- I seen a few places didn't post it. I was like, I think that's kind of capped still. Like, I wasn't believing it. So, yeah. So, so just with you pages and stuff like that, I know you guys want to be the first. You want to be the first to say, oh, yeah, we posted it. Or we, we were the first ones to do whatever. Sometimes first doesn't matter. Just being correct sometimes is the most important thing. Because, it's like, all y'all was the first just to look like asses to me. So, yeah. Pretty much. 
Paul says that so in the right the, in the mission to be first or something like that. So what do you say again? Um, but um, in the in the race to be first, I forgot the saying. Yeah, I don't even know. Yeah, but yeah, wise, there's a wise saying to it. But yeah, just um again, prayers up to DMX's family and stuff like that. Condolences and yeah, another legend lost. And just like Friday is saying, man, like we see a lot of people deal with all kinds of demons, whether it be drugs, fuck, like just personal stuff, families, friends. You don't know what anybody's going through, bro. It's not like a time like this. And I know I even last week I was just like, yo, Toronto should keep the same energy. But like at the same time, too, like keep the same energy, but you don't got to call him crackhead and this and the third. And like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's just, I don't know. But um, yeah, just to, again, my condolences to his family. Also, really quick, um, I seen uh, Black Rob is in the hospital too, bro. Yeah, man. I don't know what the hell is going on with it. Get well soon, Rob. You know what's sad, bro? Like, I'm starting to realize, like, I'm at that age where, like, a lot of my legends are people that I looked up to. Sad to say it might be their time. Not really, because these niggas are not old, fam. These niggas are not, like, 60, 70 years old. DMX was 50. Black Rob, I would imagine, is in his 40s, late 40s tops. Yeah. Niggas live too fast, Yeah, but let's be real. The hip-hop, that's what I'm saying. The hip-hop, or not even the hip-hop. I would say the celebrity Celebrity world, the celebrity life. You don't got, like, ain't a lot of celebrities living to, like, 80, fam. It's rare that we see any sort of celebrity living past 80, whether it be drugs, violence, whatever. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like we're seeing them more. Like, I was even looking at Snoop the other day. I'm like, this nigga's old, bro. Like, he, he's starting to... Lo- no, no, no. He's starting to look old now. Yeah, he's got the the the, the, yeah. the hairline's kind of getting pushed back. Yeah, yeah. Like, to the point where it's just like, damn, bro. Like, he got to stop amusing. Like, I, I like what he's doing. Like, he's doing the whole thing on thrill, Thriller or whatever and stuff mm-hmm. like that. Like... It, it, that's the point where I'm making is like more of my 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 but the generation that I grew up in the artists they're getting older fam yeah. <laughs> and it's like they're they're transitioning to like reporting or whatever it is just the next step and it's just like it's it's weird bro yeah but as far as like man them dying and RIP to, to to DMX once again and hold your head to Black Rob like it's too young for 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 guys like. Another example, um, Fred the Godson. He he passed of of uh, COVID. COVID complications, right? Facts. Like these are young men. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like, and I'm not just saying that because I'm in my 40s, but like, I'm not gonna. I have no plan on keeling at like the next two months or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, I feel like I'm healthy as fuck. I can do another like fucking 60 years on this earth. That's Easy. Proper. That's proper. But you're a different beat, though. <laughs> no, but like you're different, though. Fam, like we're talking about guys who are like. 50 40 something years old like come on fam like you should be like at least 70 80 before we're talking about oh you're on your way out yeah but it's also just like we said the, the celebrity when you're smoking so much when you're drinking so much yeah. this you're not getting proper sleep you know what i'm saying like all that stuff is going to come back and haunt you so a man like x who's doing like i don't want to say i don't know if he's doing excessive drugs because they said allegedly it was an overdose right mm-hmm. so when you're at that age doing all that stuff from before that your body just probably wasn't supposed to do and then you come to that we i I like the fact that like a lot of people are promoting the health and shit like that and that's got to be pushed more because just like we said we're looking at it these young kids everything lean 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 bro by the time you're like 35 you're all these 25 year olds that are doing lean they're gonna be mosh up fam they're gonna be done well i remember back in the days when it was the ecstasy age they would say, like, by the time all of these XTC heads are, like, in their 30s and 40s, they're all going to have mashup backs. Yeah. Because um, XTC takes fluid out of your spinal cord. Oh, thank God I didn't do that. My back is already <laughs> mashed up, bro. Right? Like, that's one of the side effects. Long-term side effects. So all Jesus. of the all the Ebo heads from back in the days, and y'all know who y'all are. Um, <laughs> shot right there. <laughs> right? Um, yeah, you're, you're back mashup. Yeah, man. Not guts, but not mine. My, my back mash up, but I'm good still. I can blow out any of these guys' girlfriend's back any day I want. Hey. Just remember that. But yeah, Ow. man. Again, to um, condolences to X, man. Please, everybody, go run up his numbers uh, really quick. You saw what Def Jam did? Which, what did they do? They put out a fucking DMX album, you know, Get of the f- greatest hits on Spotify. Like brand new, new, new? Brand new, fam. I'm modding. 
which phone is it on? Because my homie sent it to me. I'm pulling it up on Spotify right now. It's like a DMX greatest hits or some shit. And I was just like, the man just died yesterday and you guys are putting that out? Like, Oh, shit. Hold on. Let me see here. I don't see it on Spotify. The last thing that they have from albums is 2017 Dog Eats Rabbit, which I did not even know about that album. Dog Eats Rabbit? Wow. Yeah, Damn, I never bro. heard about that one. Redemption of the Beast. I remember when that was coming out. That that one flopped. Well, yeah, my my homie. I I don't know if it's actually Spotify, but he he showed me. I'll pop it up here or I'll send it to you. Mm-hmm. But yeah, like it, it's a new playlist with just all of his greatest hits. That's not that's I I, I won't I I won't take offense to that. Playlist is soft because that's just what it is. But the, the day I, I, isn't there like a, a grieving period, fam? Like as a label, you like the man's did so much for that label, fam. There should be some sort of grief, like. Bro, let's just chill a week, two. Fam, you're running up the map. <sighs> well, guess what? There's a, there's a there's a silver lining. J and them by Jay Z. Everybody, everybody that wanted to ride on the man, right? Oh, mm. Jay was whack, and you don't do nothing for black people. Look what he did for the X. I remember him and X didn't have the greatest relationship they at did the not. end. So, ten you know mil, what I'm ten mil. He's paid for the masters, gave it to his kids. Hold those. Fuck, bro. For free. I know we we got to finish our intro, but what's <laughs> Yo, is that low for X? Because I was looking at that. 10, 10 mil for Masters, I felt like X should have been more. I don't know if that's just me not knowing. Uh, I don't know. Maybe that's just what Jay negotiated. But yeah, I, I feel like, yeah, his shit is worth way more. Mm-hmm. But his platinum albums were the, f- like, now that I have the catalog in front of me, the first four albums, the first five albums went platinum. Facts. So yeah, that alone. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, Grand Trap. Grand Trap like Grand Trap went, went platinum too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't his best album, but it went platinum. It, he was still he was still hot. He wasn't scorching hot, but he was still He's hot. He's still hot, yeah. Right? That's, that's where the hood is at. Ooh, where the hood, hood, where the hood, where the hood, hood, right? hood uh, yeah, yeah. Isn't getting him on the floor on that too? I think or the so. Great Depression. Let me see. Where the hood at? Get, it Get on, on the, the floor. floor. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So he yeah, had this hits. One was fired. <laughs> this one was fired. Yeah, yeah, fire, no, no. Man. I would say his catalog should be worth, and I'm just spitballing, 100 mil. I was going to say the same shit. When I heard 10, I'm like, no, fam. I'm like, but I don't know. I don't know the business. You so never let me, know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me not get into that. Let me I digress. You know Condolences mean? to X and his family, man. Fuck, bro. Another legend lost, but yo, his... His legacy will live on regardless forever because okay. there was Brenda, Letitia, Linda, Felicia. <laughs> you don't know X fam. Um, but... Can I say some quick thing before you get to your next segment? Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. For I sure. didn't get to do a quick intro. Yeah, Dri- yeah, yeah. Drippy Ricky in the building. Hey. Um, RIP to X, and I've been really enjoying rolling up a big blunt, smoking that Prince Philly pack. Prince Philly. Mm-hmm. That Prince. That that Prince. Um. Prince, oh, Prince Philip. Philip, the Fri- Prince Philip pack. Oh, fam, I almost went and bought a pack of Phillies. Woo. Jeez. Smoke that shit. That shit smell like, what did Marlon, I was talking to fucking that dude McFly. I said, it smoke that shit smell like oppression. <laughs> smell like colonization. Oh, God. Mm. This shit smell like colonization. Mm. Mm. Smoke that Philly pack, boy. <laughs> Shout out to the Prince Philip pack, fam. Mm. He's smoking on you all week, my nigga. Sorry, but yeah, shout out um that dude McFly. What's another dude's name, man? My apologies. That was on live there. Um, we don't know, man. But shout out McCrud and the whole people over there before they were famous. We see you doing your thing, fam. You have permission to send shots at us. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, homie. I'm gonna find out your name for next one. I'm gonna hail you up. Yeah, really quick, we gotta get back to the shout out. Shout out everybody on the team, shout out the supporters, the subscribers, um, shout out the warehouse workers, the construction workers. Hey. I see you out there listening to us, you know what I'm saying? Appreciate you guys. Everybody that's listening on SoundCloud, Stitcher, um, iTunes, Geo Savin, wherever you're listening, listening, not watching, but listening to us, big up yourself. We appreciate you. That boy Y'all pardon. are the true ones, man. That boy pardon. Um, shout out the team, Herc, Raheel, Empress, Gucci, gang. gang. Gucci, be safe. Relax. <laughs> you gotta relax. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Jean, Jean, Jean Jacket, Rick over here, you know what I'm saying? Drippy Ricky. Drippy Ricky, when I get older, I'm on drip like this. And yeah, just be good. And you're going to see a really exclusive dope-ass interview 
After oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know I'm saying? Because we got to tie this in. You know what I'm saying? Mm, are you going to tell them? You're not going to tell them? Fuck it. Dollar Boy Entertainment dropped through, yes, bro. Yes, man. We had a dope ass conversation. <laughs> It was so dope that we had another interview after. <laughs> should have recorded that one for real. Yeah, we really should have recorded after because we like, yeah, you're gonna want to stay uh stay tuned and, mm-hmm. and listen to all that somewhere Salute. on later on. But yeah, boy, we're gonna get into some of these news. Oh, my bad. Really quick. Your shout outs. <laughs> um, I got no shout outs, man. I, I well, fuck, I got shout outs. Okay. Shout out to the people out there. We appreciate the love. You know what I'm saying? Um, shout out to all my people in MTL, my day mm. ones from 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 day one. Empty aliens, let's go. Um, and yeah, man, Parkdale. You know what I mean? All my people downtown, downtown. Hey. And yeah, man, I'm not good at shout outs, man. Fuck. Zay Links, episode 19. Yes. We don't worry, Zay. We're gonna get to you soon. Like yeah, you know I'm saying we forget out here. I'd be there like all the time, and I'd be forgetting. Right? But yeah, Zaylix episode 19. Nana with Nana Goody. So yeah, Goody gang. Y'all definitely gonna want to tune into that. I'm definitely going to be tuned in. So yeah, you know I'm saying mm-hmm. pay attention to that. And really quick too, yo, prayers up to uh, Saint Vincent. There's a volcano that's going on over there. I believe like it's at the point where it's erupting. Um, a lot of stuff are popping off over there. Um, if you have any family members or anybody in the close by region too, because I believe um Barbados is being affected by it too, and mm. some of like the uh other little islands or whatever, be safe. Um, anything that you can do to help out, find out what you can do. Check up on your people out there. Check up on anybody that um that's out here from Saint Vincent, because you know it, it's hard for people going through these little situations. So like, pray for Saint Vincent, and it's sad that you know. We have to have like devastations to happen for like the islands them to come together. But regardless, just you know, let let's let's just keep Saint Vincent's in our prayers in high mm-hmm. hopes, eh? Salute to the Vincies, yo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's scary out there, man. It's scary out there. And yeah, if anybody needs updates and shit like that, I got people out there so I can update you. So holla at me if you're interested in any of that. Uh news now. The boy do V for the ops. Fuck the ops. Seems like he said fuck that deal too with uh, Dream Chasers. <laughs> <laughs> I know he didn't hear us because we were recording when it was happening. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, um, Doovy turns down the Dream Chasers deal. And before I get into this, this is all speculations from Axe Twitch, by the way. So Ak went on Twitch and he said that Doovy turned down the deal. He didn't take the deal because there was a lot of Doovy, uh I guess started following Meek or Meek started following Doovy. They're, I guess they had a picture got taken together. So everybody went to the speculation room and said whatever. We spoke about it on We Love Hip Hop talking about if we feel like it was a good move. Now, this it kind of ties into my next thing. But do you even believe that that's true? Or is act capping? I think, I think there was probably an offer that was on the table. Maybe that information wasn't supposed to come out onto come the on. streets. Yeah. But I think there was probably an offer on the table and the information leaked. Yeah, because I was thinking the same thing too, because I'm thinking everybody would go at Doovy at this point. Like, I don't see why you would look at, uh, you wouldn't want to try and get a kid, a, a young man with his talents, with uh, the fan base that he has and not try and put them on your label, anything that you're going, right? Mm-hmm. So I was looking at it like, I'm pretty, why wouldn't Dream Chasers do it? I'm pretty sure MMG, Rock Nation, I'm pretty sure almost every label went at it, man. Just like uh, Axe said, he said he signed to the streets. But yeah, I don't, I don't know, I don't know how much of that, like, if that he like That shit sound it. good. Sorry to interrupt you. That shit sound cool. But niggas want to deal. Of course. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That just sounds, that just sounds cool yeah, for rap, rapper cool. You know I'm saying? signed to the street. One, to the facts, street. I don't, I don't even think he said that. I just think he said, yo, I'm not, I don't know what I'm doing right now. I don't know. I was just, let me not agree before everybody said, yo, Guts said that dude. <laughs> said he doesn't know what he's doing right now. Now he's signed to the streets. But yeah, regardless, I, I've, I've, I've kind of like, I know people have been saying that they, they feel like he should sign, but I just feel like he shouldn't fam. I feel like Doovy might be in a position to be that artist from Toronto that has so much pull that he could just go straight independent. Maybe no. do a maybe do a what what is it, a distro deal, and that's it. Labels are necessary to a degree, okay. And I'm not the label mascot by any 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 degree, okay. But they're they're necessary. They're a big bank, you know. what I'm saying it's mm-hmm. all about what you negotiate. He can go independently, but to be able to get himself on all those billboards, 
um, get playlist um, radio um, and shit like playlist that. Thing, um, placements and all those different types of things. Massive radio like um, listings. You got to have the major. Like if you want to have it like but what, faster. But what if he doesn't? What if Doovy wants to pave his own way? And again, I'm just playing fucking gutsy's, gutsy verse here and I'm just entering. What if Doovy just says, yo, like, I don't, like, you know what I'm saying? He has a lot of buzz. Mm. Like, is there, yeah, let's just play devil's, or, well, you know, not devil's advocate. Devil's let's advocate, just say, yeah. yeah, he doesn't sign. Will he still be able to gain, like, a major success? He can, but he's going to have to do a lot of the heavy lifting himself. He's going to have to pay for his promotion. Mm-hmm. He's going to have to make sure that he books all of his radio interviews. Um, he's not going to have a publicist, or he's going to have to hire his own publicist, yeah, yeah, which yeah, is going to be coming yeah. out of his own pocket. Even though essentially all of, a lot of this stuff is coming out of your own pocket anyway when you're going through the label, they're going to be putting up the money for you to do it. You're not going to have to go into your own pocket and then hope you make an ROI, a mm. return on your investment. Yeah. For, for the people that don't know about that, because I see the one-two man say, yo, Freddie keep talking about ROI. What is that, fam? I'm like, you know there's Google, right? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Fuck, man. Yo, I'm turning into Friday so much because I used to do that shit too. I used to mess with my, Yo, Friday, what's it? Nigga, there's Google. <laughs> Google this shit before you, man. If you can't find it out, then... Yeah, but guys, I'm turning it takes investment. more time to ask the questions. And not, and not to say that there's no such there's no such thing as dumb questions, right? Because mm. I'm always going to encourage people to look for more information. If you want to ask somebody, ask somebody. However, the time it takes to go DM somebody, text somebody or whatever... Those same that same typing energy, you could have just Googled the information. Facts. Facto. So again, why I said this was cap, because going into my the, the next story, he he brought up a situation where he claimed uh academics was claiming that somebody told him mm. that Meek offered Pressa 20k in a Rolls Royce. A Rolls Wasn't voice. it less than that? I thought it was 10k. Whoa, that's what you heard? That's what I think I saw on the, the, the one of the pages, fam. When I pull up in front of the laptop, I'm going to double check that. But that's I what sh- I heard. I should have asked Bundog whether I had the chat. <laughs> I wish I would have known that because I would have asked Bundog. Is that true? Like, that's ba- arms. That's fucked up. A lie? That's arms. Okay, hold on. Let's take it back, though. Is that any point of time 20K's arms? That's always arms. <laughs> <laughs> Offering an artist 20K is like, that's fucked up. Listen. <laughs> I told a nigga in the comment gang, you need to stop talking that six hundred thousand dollar bullshit to the mandem. That's fucking mandem's weed budget. So facts. Don't insult a nigga like Pressa or any rapper out here for with twenty or ten k. You can't even live a year off of that. Hold on, six hundred thousand for the whole team. Yeah. Oh no 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 no. That's what somebody in the comment gang was no, trying to get no, no, cute. No, 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 no. But we ain't gonna talk about him. Listen, we can talk about that before we get into that. Listen, listen. <laughs> Man, we're going to Mills, okay? <laughs> Friday is not signing anything less than two. We have three fucking shows that are popping. <laughs> Sorry, three podcasts that are popping. Yeah, they're, 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 fuck. they're all popping. We're not doing anything less than three, actually. Everybody needs um, We all got to eat, fam. Yo, I'm out here. Fuck, I'm going to put that in the news too. I'm going to talk about my little live interview I did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that yeah, going in. But yeah, um, that's rude, fam. <laughs> 20K and a Rolls Royce? And least... you can't even buy jewels with that. You, what are you doing with 20K? Can you get a spot in Toronto? Like a house? No, in not, Toronto? Down, not you can't downtown. Even put down, yeah, you can't even put down on a spot. Maybe, maybe you could get a condo, a decent condo. You can't put a down payment of 10K on a condo. Well, maybe. But if you're black, you probably have to put the whole 10K down. Yeah, you got to put the whole thing down. That's crazy. Um, do you think he's capped it, though? I don't know. Where he's getting, where's he getting the information from? I don't even think he's getting this information. We all know that Act don't like Meek. I think it's a thing where he's just like, yo, he's clowning Meek. And he Meek can't do anything because as soon as Meek says anything, he looks bad, fam. Meek, mm. whoever Meek's publicist is, if he has one, needs to get fired. Listen, I'm not going to say nothing else about me in the <laughs> But yeah. I got love for you guys. Dream chasers. Yeah, I'm not going to do it. Hold up. Wait a minute. <laughs> so, yeah, it, it just seems like Axe just being a, a little mixy. 
it because it, mixed academics. Yeah, because he's like he's talking about Doovie first, um, not taking the deal. And you're like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm saying somebody told him. Yeah. Or he was like, an artist told him. Oh no, 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 no! It wasn't the artist. Somebody told me that Meek offered Pressa twenty k, and it was just like, come on, fam. It seems like you're hating me, uh, Ak. Listen, can I give y'all? Can, can we give Ak a little bit of appreciation for a quick second? Why? That nigga know how to make some content, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He does. <laughs> that nigga could sit there on Twitch for four hours by himself, maybe get a few of the chat niggas in there, and I'm like, yo, how are you just talking for four hours, like? Yeah. Don't get me wrong. I could chat for a good hour and a half on with no co-host or whatever, whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. But that nigga could be going in, he finds some shit to talk about, beat yeah, the fuck out of the topic out of for an hour. <laughs> I'm like, damn, nigga. But the one thing too, his timing too, I will say is like proper. Cuz mm-hmm. he'll say something, yeah, 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 you know, trying to get it. Like he has to talk about I be about hearing this, about this these niggas in there. I tell you. <laughs> He probably talked about that shit for like 15 minutes on his stream, Scor- bro. Let me get the scorpions in the comments really quick. Hold on, hold on. Scorpions. Scorpions, come out. I'm going to tell you. These, these, these niggas, rap niggas. Holy. Oh, what is <laughs> Holy. <laughs> Holy. <laughs> Yo, I... <laughs> Axie's chromos. Holy. We fuck with you. Yeah, I, I, I rap the act, man. But yeah, I, I just think he, he's playing around with me. Because those two situations to bring up, I just think it's an asshole thing. Like, I mean, it's, yeah, yeah, hold stab. that right there, man. But um, regardless, big up to Doovy, regardless in the situation, in his whole journey through this whole music thing, it, it's just proper to see somebody like that. Like, that's a, a, we to me personally, I don't, like, this is Drake levels of buzz that he's getting. Yeah, big time. It, it's that, I've, I can't remember any other artist that's gotten the attention he's getting. We're not even trying that hard. That's that's just brilliant. yeah. Like then they, <laughs> fuck the ops. Mm-hmm. <laughs> now, listen. <laughs> I'm just looking at the list. <laughs> the rest of the news stories is gonna get very sticky, guys. I apologize. I'm not trying to offend anybody, but we gotta talk about it. The people have asked me to talk about these situations. All right. Don't come at me. I don't give a fuck. Come at me. Packs on packs got leaked. If y'all don't know what packs on packs is. It's a song, allegedly, top five featuring YG and BFR Bondock. Now, we'll get into two little subjects on this because the song is disrespectful. Totally fucking rude. The first thing I wanted to talk about was the leak. It it getting out one. Can this be bad for top five's court case? Can they use new songs that get leaked out against him for a situation that might not have to do with anything? But you, we know how now Toronto or, I don't know, Canadian, Ontario governments using your rap lyrics and shit like that, right? So, Listen, is, I'm a range lawyer, bro. <laughs> I, <laughs> I, like, you know, I, I, actually, I, I'm, I'm lying. I get a little bit more information now that we're in the media, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? about like legal matters and stuff like that but to be honest i don't fucking know bro that's a sticky one because that's what i'm thinking now when you have new songs that are coming out and regardless if they're talking about they might not be talking about the alleged a- allegations he's being accused of yeah the accusations accusations yeah, yeah. he's being accused of but <sighs> this sounds fucked up mm. and the police or whoever could just be like well hey look at this new song that he put out well, he never put it out. Or, or the, sorry, a new song that got leaked out. Sorry. Yeah, that's the. That's. I feel like that kind of makes it worse. And like now we're getting fucking mixy, um, <laughs> because like you didn't intend to put it out, but it was created. Yes, you created something that was regardless of it got came out or not. It's sticky, fam. Mm-hmm. So okay, so you you're saying you don't know if they. I can don't know use how, it how like, much legal um, ramifications can come from the shit, yo. To be honest. That's a new one, like a, a leaked song. Mm-hmm. Because we've seen examples in the past, um, i.e. A Heartless G. The man had like the most amount of songs ever brought up brought in a courtroom. Court, yeah. Right? Um, Turk said he had 13 <laughs> songs and videos brought up in his court case. So it happens. But these are songs that were already released. released. They can go find the, the, the link to. Like this one. Except this is a leaked one. So like... Yeah, that's true. That's so if I'm like their defense lawyer, I'd be like, my clients didn't put this out. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Because you could be like, well, he did the song, but he didn't put it out. Yeah. He, he 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 just did the song. And artistic expression in the end of the day, like if I want to really like, you know, we create pictures and they don't necessarily have to be true. I've rapped a lot of lyrics about shooting niggas in the head and all types of shit. And I never shot nobody. I said a lot of shit on this pod that was probably cap. <laughs> a lot of my freak shit is cap. I'm not really a dirt bag like that. But <laughs> that's cap. <laughs> the man knows I was capping. But yeah. I was just thinking like, how would that work? Because that's, the song, that's, that's how I, mean, I would but, defend it. If, if that's me in this situation, I'd be like, the amount of things that I've said in raps that are not true, mixed in with the things that are true, what are you going to, which, which ones are you going to pick and say, do, is, which is true from not? What, what, how do you, why do you get to choose? Because at this point in time, they can use any lyric that you say. Like, on, Can I, they? I, well, that's what I'm saying. Like, I hate to bring up the song. Pack today. Right. They can bring that song up and like, can they, like if, if one of the man of them get, get charged with something, well, you have a song called pack today and you're talking about me and so, and like, where, Artistic where do you, expression. Like, but, but can, is it though? Yes. Because like now you can't really use that because if you're, if they're saying, okay, we're using, we're using the song against you. They can go to any rapper now and say, well, Hey, you did say this on the song though. Regardless of his art, art, t- uh, whatever expression, mm-hmm. they can be like, "Yeah, well, you could have said it a different way, or you could have d- expressed it a different way." You can't tell me how to express myself. That's my art. Yeah, well, we can tell you how to fucking. How You're we're gonna, gonna tell deal Quentin Tarantino how to make his movies and tell him to put less violence in no, them. He's white, fam. Come on, let's be real. Well, <laughs> Spike Lee, then he's white. You know, Spike Lee ain't, ain't, ain't he ain't touching buttons like that. And and this is why he don't get fuck. He just got a fucking Oscar, no? Yeah, but I'm His just first saying, one like, in... they're making fucking fiction. You know what I'm saying? Johnny Cash, to take it back to, like, the old school, what the, what the white people with it, their country music, right? The nigga has mad bodies in his songs, fam. Facts. He's a rude boy, too. You know what I'm saying? If he had a case back then, you're out. They're going to bring up his songs and say, what about all these bodies you fucking caught on your tunes? Well, we know that they're not going to do that to the white people, fam. We like, like, let's so don't real. do it to us. But that's not, we know, Friday, you say it all the time. That's not how it works. I know we that's know not how, how it works. works so. But like, if it's right in front of everybody's face, we're talking about it publicly on our pod. This like, this is a very high profile case because of the, the, the high profile of the rapper. Mm-hmm. Right. Then fucking treat us the same way you would treat them motherfuckers. Yeah, they should. They should, but they won't. Because it's not like it's a secret. It's all in front of everybody. Yeah, of course. Right? So fuck. Treat us the same. Nah, Treat us the same as Bob and fucking Brian, bro. No. Treat Tyrone the same as fucking... Johnny Cash. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, we know that they're not going to do that. Look, at El- Elvis Presley is a perfect example of that. Mm-hmm. Like, the man fucking was dating that young thing, and they didn't, oh, they didn't care. I know where this is going. <laughs> <laughs> Continue, guys. Continue. But yeah, like you know what I'm saying. And then my boy here, he, he's peeing on things and whatever. <laughs> I knew it. And it's like, yo, y'all trashed this guy, and yeah, I trashed him too. But like, what about Elvis, fam? Like, that's not fair, fam. Deal with Elvis the same way. I know he's dead, but like, fuck. Like, ban his music off of Spotify and everywhere else that you can fucking see shit. I no. knew that this guy was gonna find Kells at the end of the road, bro. With a fucking he's a perfect on the... example of it though because it's like you're, yo no like, you're not wrong fam him Woody Allen um... Woody Allen he, oh god and even going back to your point Quentin Tarantino can have the wildest shit in his movies and nobody will say anything but as soon as let Spike Lee do it and oh my fucking god this that and the third blah 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 let let you have some sort of movie that talks about black people killing a bunch of white people holy shit. <laughs> You ain't wrong, fam. So, yeah, I, I feel like... Obviously, I'm not against you. I'm just playing devil's advocate No, but here. I'm saying treat, you, uh, of, treat Tyrone with the same standard as fucking Chad. Because there's a lot of rap mu- or not rock and roll music and shit that say some crazy shit. Like, if Eminem got a charge on something, Eminem's talking about putting bodies in trunks and all kinds of crazy shit. Yo, the shit man and... fully described what he would do to his baby moms if he killed her. Mm-hmm. But they never came out of him until he, only time they came out of him. Well, his baby mom about, never ended up dead. Yeah, but the only time he really they really came out of him <coughs> talked about the gays. Yeah, that's the only time he got any sort of backlash. And him and El- um, Elton John had to fucking do a tune together on yeah, stage. Yeah, they said, and yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta. You, that's the only way we're making up, fam. You gotta go on stage with one of them gays. 
and and no disrespect to the LGBTQ plus community, but oh, we got it. That was that was that was kind of foul. You know what? Sorry, we're potting. I don't give a fuck. I want to have somebody on here from that community because we got to have a talk, fam. Because they get they get. You've had people from the community on here before. More like, I need well, I, I need to have that conversation with them. Yeah, I need I need to have a conversation with somebody from the LGBT community. Come to and six views on cup, bro. And, we and we've and on our show, um, we've had like multiple um, guests that are like prominent members of the LGBTQ um, plus community, right? Mm. Um, Maisie F. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying, Shout out Maisie. And she came through and ex- and, and you know explained a lot of the different struggles that goes on with her and like being, um, you know, judged in rap and stuff like that. You know, right? So. Me, yeah, me and her had a dope talk on on Insta Live one time too. She she's a dope person to talk to. Maybe you know what? I might have to invite her in because I like. Mm. There's a conversation I want to talk about there with their, like, they got a lot of more rights than black people, bro. <laughs> I know yeah, that. I know I'm, I know I'm, sword, yeah, yeah. I'm, being, I'm being, you know, I'm touching the line there, but. I just don't want them to come for us. <laughs> Shout you guys out. Second yo, yo, YouTube yo, yo, channel, yo, yo, man. Yo, 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 <laughs> it's, it's no diss. Like, I just want to have a conversation, you know what I'm saying? Understand each other. But back to the tune, man. Packs on Packs got even stickier because Bundog was getting a lot of backlash with the song mm-hmm. now not a, about the, the the content of what he was saying but more about the lyrics so a lot of people were getting at him and saying like i guess like yo it was trash it was this and then the third and i also brought it up to him what like, they didn't like the bars i guess yeah i guess they were saying like it was it wasn't all that and they were saying like i guess they're, they're pretty much people were saying he's overrated and i'm like whoa like wait a minute like hold on take a step back there well, that's, you know, people like to jump the gun and, and, and really lean in when they don't like something. But in my honest opinion, I've heard better Bundog verses from the snippet that I heard on that page. Mm, mm. Right? I'm not going to fucking cap here and be like, no, what are you guys saying? Ah! No, I, he played us some fucking way harder shit than that. Yeah. <laughs> that's so, why I'm like, yo, like, believe me. They just met. They ain't heard it. Yeah, I get it. And that's why you guys kind of wait. The man only has one song. Like, you know what I'm saying? He just has one song. Like, he, he, whether he decides to put out more music or not, jump on features, that's up to him. But, bro, after one song, y'all are like, yeah, he's done or he ain't this and that and the third. Like, chill, bro. So, I also seen that he had, um, you had him on live uh Whenever I don't want to don't don't say the time, but yeah, you had him on live. <laughs> it I'm was not demon time. That I'm was re- for sure. <laughs> yeah, I'm not exposing when I record my show. Fuck that. You can do that on Wheel of Hip Hop. But <laughs> um, yeah. So what, what did you guys speak about on there? Um, he was I don't know. He was just pulling up in the crib and like we we, we did talk about him changing lyrics on on the tune. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't really think it was a thing until like I started seeing it on the blog the next day. That our conversation was like, like content for people. So he changed lyrics in a sense where he had something before and he changed it to what it is now that everybody's hearing, or he's what everybody's hearing is the old lyrics and he's changing it to something else. Exactly. Ah, got the latter. you, got you. Mm-hmm. And would me being mixy here would that be the part where he's speaking about the other rap artists in? I don't know, mixy guts. <sighs> <laughs> just checking well uh hopefully guys don't release that fucking song <laughs> for all three of you guys i like all three of you guys as artists yeah. yg top five and bfr but yeah. i like all three of you guys there's no hate it's no disrespect i know you guys are like oh fuck watch i don't care but like i just feel like yeah you know i'm saying you guys are so much more talented than this you know what i'm saying you yeah. don't but the version that's out the, if the fucking net you know teeths and all that and oh another thing also he was he was cheesed you know what i'm saying he said he said some words like words that i'm not going to repeat here because you know we just spoke about that community <laughs> literally like three minutes ago mm-hmm. but he was using those words about the people who leaked the song not the blogs who are reposting it because he's like blogs are just going to do their job they caught some fire they're going to repost it, it yeah. right but the people who were who leaked that version he had all kind of f words all kind of maggots basically yeah, yeah, he was not happy with that. So that song is not supposed to be leaked. That and none of that was supposed to be leaked. Yeah, yeah, I'm just that's just coming back to mind now. Like it's that's, it's up on my life, so I'm not being mixy. That's interesting. Even though being super mixy, <laughs> very interesting there. Um, Do you have something else, please. <laughs> 
you don't get mixy here, here, but hey, I, I was I was gonna get unmixy, but I was gonna move this one. Anyways, the city's back on the bullshit. I don't know if you've seen, but there's been like a lot of up here music. There's been a lot of up here videos and shit. The city's back on the fuckery. I seen chains being snatched again. Chains are going on tours again. Yeah, like what's a chain? I, I, yo, I'm, I didn't even want to talk about what chain. <laughs> I was just saying, like, is that edit point? <laughs> <laughs> yo, it's no. I'm not laughing at you guys. I'm laughing at Friday. But yeah, um, yeah. It just seems like the city has went back into demon time. Like we were like. The weather got nice, and it's just like, yeah, 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 fuckery. Yeah, yeah, you said the operative thing. Fucking weather got nice, but I feel like we never got off at of demon time. You don't think so? I think maybe the demon time got more outside now that we can, everybody's outside. But when everybody was inside, niggas was on demon time. You know, I don't know if there was less murders. I haven't been keeping track. There was less, less murders last year, because niggas weren't outside. Yeah. But there was still a lot. There was still a lot. Don't get me wrong. There was still like not more than usual, but it, there was a lot. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. They, it was, it did go down from like 2018 and 2019. Like mm-hmm. 2018 and 2019 was fucking retarded. But um, yeah, it just the more videos and shit like that. It just seemed like the more oppish videos and stuff kind of like simmered down. Mm-hmm. And I'm not saying like music videos. I'm just saying like Instagram lives and shit like that. And just it just seems like it picked back up a little bit. Yeah. I think the city's getting bored, fam. Mm. And besides that, I think, like, I think a lot of these guys are not really seriously rappers, bro. They're not. You because a lot, of, a lot of the people that are involved in some of these videos, they're not rappers. They're just doing stuff and they're related to somebody or a group. Mm-hmm. And just because it, it's interesting, it's just like, all right. And again, it's been slow news week, too. I'm not even going to front. Like, there's not much to post about. So on the blog pages, it's like, fuck. Do I take this and be like, all right, post it and encourage the fuckery, or do I not and kind of lamp on some fucking content? Yeah, and like, bad news travels faster than good news. Hell yeah. Hell that's yeah. A fucking, that's a whole fact. Ain't nobody care about um, all that positive shit that people are doing. Yeah, like it's... Ain't nobody care about Kofi coming out with good music and yeah. Astro and, you know what I'm saying, all these other good things that are going on in the city. But let there be some beef. Oh, these niggas care about it. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's it's sad, but like I said, like uh, even like a lot of the rappers who are creating all these oppy tunes, a lot of y'all niggas ain't fucking rappers, fam. You just got to beef with your ops, and you're like, this is how I can get it so that they can hear it all the way across from whether they live fucking four blocks away or if they live maybe <laughs> fucking twenty minute drive away. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah, so you could hit them up online on YouTube and let them know how you feel about them. Doesn't mean you're a fucking rapper, my G. It just means you got problems with somebody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's cut that out. Not, <clears throat> that's a problem too, because some of them can actually rap though. Yeah, I feel <laughs> some of them are discovering. Some of them are discovering that they can rap with the op thing, and then they're like, "Let me take it seriously." I got no problem with that. If you're talented, you're talented. Some of these niggas are not that talented, and they're just shitting on niggas. Facts. Yeah, yeah, that's fact. We can tell the difference, fam. Yo, Friday's on one. Um, I told y'all 2021, y'all if y'all caught my live, I'm 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 on that unlearn shit. Niggas gonna have to unlearn a lot of the bullshit y'all fucking thought was cool. Yeah, 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 for sure. We gotta do that. So 3M French and sick people now have a thing going on too. Wow. <laughs> so apparently sick people went online on a live and he said some shots to to 3M French. Mm-hmm. And then 3M French, I I no, 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 just to either or, but I, I just like the fact that Three and French came back with a tune, so he must have hit him back in a tune. He also uh, took shots at Top Gunner. Wow. Yeah. So, um, that song, uh, I guess it was on his story too. I, again, is the tune out? I don't know if the tune's out, but I believe that Three and French, um, he put out the snippet of it. Mm-hmm. He put out a snippet. So there's a music video. There's a song that's gonna be for it. So I guess we will we'll be seeing it soon. Yeah. So that. <coughs> 3M French is he's, he's putting out a lot more music, it seems. He's probably ready to do another run. Has he put out an album or like mixtapes or stuff like that? That's a good question. Let's see. Let's go on to Spotify. 3M. Shout out 3M French. You got good search engine op- optimization. So that shit popped up right away. Said speed. No album. No album. Discography is. Oh, 
Money Making Moves. Hold on. Yeah, this is the whole album from okay. 2020, Money okay. Making Moves. Oh, you put out something last year? Yeah, 10 tracks. Okay, I didn't even know that. Yeah, man. For Life with Bully is the is is on there. Oh yeah. Part of me with Archie. He got a um, in the field, which mm-hmm. is a, a, a track that he came out with. I, I f- if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah, that's last year. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, okay. French, yeah. is... French. You busy? Yeah, you, you're getting busy, bro. And also too, I, I see, I see you. That's that Logan. See you out there, my G Smalls, Mr. Smalls. Them two have a song out there too that uh, I'm looking forward to. So, but yeah, boys, let, um, sick people. I guess the the ball's in your court now, man. Let's get a track out there, bang. Let's get it bubbling. Also, too, uh, I believe it was Wednesday night. We were uh, a little bit busy. But Moolah and Pyrex, they put on an a interesting live performance. All I oh. saw was yelling. <laughs> <laughs> you can't face me! <laughs> Whoa. If I didn't be, it would have been better! What happened? <laughs> Yo, Mulo, way too hyped. <laughs> I'm trying to think like that nigga was like junkyard dog hype. He wasn't freaking Michael Jordan hype. Michael Jordan was never that hype, my G. Chill. <laughs> yeah, bro. Mulo was hype. I will give them. Yo, the creativity as hell though. Yeah, like, that was a look, set. The, the set. Shout out Snoopy. Um, Snoopy was, I guess, hosting it, or or he he ran the the set or whatnot. The whole look of that was yo top notch, super creative. Yeah. Like when I seen that, I was just like, whoa, whoa, whoa. So yeah, I, I I'll definitely give them like hella credit on that. Shout out to the boy Pyrex too. Um, mm-hmm. Pyrex put on like yo super talented Pyrex man. So they got a lot of songs off. Cause I missed. Like we were potting. I'm not gonna lie, we were potting. Okay. Don't now, don't fucking come shoot us. Anyways, we're moving. Fuck everybody. Yeah. Anyways. Yeah. So from what I seen, I believe there was like 20, 30 minutes. I'm and then on Snoopy's page, but I can't find it there. Uh, it was on YouTube actually. Ooh. Go on YouTube. Some somebody somebody had it. Shout out to the YouTubers out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All you YouTubers, um, all you freaking Instagram live recorders out there, big up yourself. Yeah, you know I'm saying. Stop I'm recording excited my to life. see who got it first. Oh, Toronto Stop. rap super fan, I see you, nigga. Hey. You better watch your mouth, but yeah, I see you. <laughs> Let's play this. Salute to him. The show, right? Share the fuck your lives. Hey. Yeah! Let's go! Let's run! Oh. Let's go! That's where he went wrong. The neighbors were like, whoa, 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 whoa. Somebody's getting killed. Where are they? <laughs> Where the fuck is this? It's in somebody's backyard. Really? Mm-hmm. Hold on, I got it. Toronto and if I'm in his beat, would it be better? <laughs> oh, holy shit! I get a sweater if I'm in his beat. You can't face me. You can't face me. <laughs> holy. Pull that part back. It's my turn, project nigga, I stepped on the curb. I'm from a place where people serve. Turn it to me back. Number one record in Toronto, and... If I'm in his beat, it would've been better! It's been the shit, it's been the shit, The cameraman cannot keep up with him, holy... Got the cameraman, like... Whoa! <laughs> You know what they needed to do with this? They needed to turn the fucking thing sideways. What? Oh, the ca- the camera. Yeah. <laughs> the fuck, man. Rickles, more Rickles. Sorry, I'm like a fucking production fucking nerd, okay? Turn it sideways. Tell the people to deal with it. Mm. But yeah, things went left, though. Yeah. Cops shut that shit down. So when I believe it was after we were potting... I hit you up like, yo, go on Moolah's live because there's a girl in a cop car on Moolah's live. And I was like, yo, what the hell? Like, shit was shut down. Like, I don't know what the fuck was going on. That was... But the only reason why I am on live 
right now is because I fucking hid my... Why not? They just arrested me, fam. Why not? They You're arrested me because apparently I'm trespassing. Are you dumb? Bro, my nigga. Yo, I'm real fucked. Yo. <laughs> Why is he yeah, saying like that? Yo. You know Ricky keep receipts. Facts. Yeah, that... Free the gang, are you dumb? <laughs> you guys have no idea. Like, they're fucking no, whack. No. They fucking cuff me right now because I know my rights. I'm in the back of the cruiser. Yeah, they can scare me, you know? Oh, yeah, that makes sense. You know your rights, that's why you're in the back of the cruiser. If you know your rights, you wouldn't be in the back of the cruiser. That's a Dodo. mod thing. Oh, my God. We are getting mixy. <laughs> I'm pulling out receipts. <laughs> so hold on. So why? So I guess this would be a freaking disturbance thing, no? Because Mula's yelling like a like a crazy person. Probably. Yeah, but like also yelling. they have loud music playing and stuff like that. Like outside. Not, yeah. So yeah, you can't be doing that. And like you know, there's also like the whole COVID thing. They probably came to check on it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like they weren't doing anything wrong per se because it's not like they had mad people there or whatever. I can't see who's off the frame, but. They look like they were following the rules. That looks like a big production, though, fam. Yeah, but, like, you could still do it with under 10 people. That's not 10 people. No, but there's under 10 people you're seeing in the frame. There's one, two. Somebody holding the camera. There's a cameraman that was chasing him around, Snoopy. Oh, okay, hold on. Okay, so there's three people right here because there's another my boy on this side. Mm -hmm. You probably don't see him. So there's three people right there. Pyrex, right. four. Mm -hmm. The one cameraman that's chasing the man around, the one cameraman that's doing there, mm -hmm. that's seven. Mm -hmm. Then you have the shorty, mm -hmm. that's eight. eight. <laughs> we can stop there. <laughs> <laughs> well, like the, the, the thing looked dope. I don't know how people are going to be able to get these off now because it looks like like the feds are, unless you got to do like a singing thing. Myself. You have to do something like that where it's gonna be like you can't make up two noise because I'm pretty sure it was the whole if I didn't be it would have been better. Nah, man, I ain't gonna put that on Mula. <laughs> Yo, somebody has to turn that into a meme, please. Somebody turn that into a meme. That was crazy. ASAP, bro. But yeah, shout out Mula. Uh, uh, Pyrex and DJ Snoopy because regardless that was a dope idea like mm -hmm. super creative um you can't face me hours is blowing up but Mula like you you can't really like can he profit off that song technically no like on a monetary side because it's somebody else's I like think, it's a freestyle technically yeah we spoke about this right because but YouTube wise he wouldn't be able to monetize that either right nope. mm. this probably has a copyright on it unless like it like they sped it up or something maybe worked around it but other than that, like, it's a copyright. It's somebody else's um, beat. Yeah. Like, people do it all the time, but, like, you just can't make money off of it. True, 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 true. Well, Mula, shout out Mula, man. Uh, can't face me out. Uh, also, too, hold your head to YT and Paco. Paco, is it? Or Paco? I, I don't know. Paco. Paco? So, YT and Paco, I seen uh, re uh, recently, allegedly, he got uh, arrested for some gun charges or whatnot. I also seen that the boy bigged him up. Yeah. So the boy said to hold your head. Now oh, that didn't surprise me. I don't know why everybody was so shocked. Now I think they're because of I I know he's affiliated with reps up and shit because he's from the YTN guys came to see us. <clears throat> yeah. Um. What maybe a few maybe a week or so before that top Molly, um YTN um SL and and YTN G Boy Row. Mm -hmm. Right. But super dope interview by the way. Yeah, and like they were dripped the fuck out in OVO mm -hmm. gear. Like Ricky Trippy. So yeah, um, th there's a few things. Like, how do you? T I want. I know how you're gonna take it, but what do you like? How do you feel when Drake gives you that hail up, fam? I'm I not gonna take it like how you assume. Uh, it's not like like you get spiced, obviously. Like yo, you're hype. Like that's a big deal. He's the biggest rapper in the world. But it's like it doesn't change your life overnight. No, it doesn't. But it it, it can. If you if you can like you always say if you know how to monetize it properly or you know how to turn that into a thing of course you can you can do a lot from that look what oh, Smiley's sure. doing look what Smiley's doing from when Drake put his um play the song in the pool that's different though because like they moved 
with a whole bunch of different pieces and got like they had a plan for him, I guess. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If they have a plan for YT and Paco, then cool. But if you just get, got a shout out, then you got a shout out. Mm. The boy follows a lot of Toronto rappers now, bro. Now that's what I wanted to get into that might be sticky on his part. Should he be doing this? Because somebody came to me and was just like, yo, bro, like, does Drake want to be putting himself out there all the time with these fucking gangster dudes and shit? Like, yo, like, I mean, mm. it, it, it's... Yeah, it's getting mixy. Yeah, that's my show, man. Have you not learned over the 44 <laughs> episodes? <laughs> yeah, bro, like, it's... If you're an artist, you put yourself in Drake's shoes now. You have somebody that's from the city not talking about YT and Paco or anything, but he's got some crazy ass fucking charges. You rock with him, but you're like, you know what I'm saying? Like it, it, it it's like when he did the press the thing. Right. And everybody was just like, yeah, the, the cop came at him like, yo, you got this guy on tour that has charges. They got at him for Baca too. Same thing. Baca. Yeah. So it's like, you have a lot of people around you and it, there's nothing wrong with that. Like you can have whoever the fuck you want around you. Mm -hmm. But when you're the biggest artist in the world, do you want to be <coughs> doing those kind of shout outs? So I'm going to play Drake's advocate right now. Mm. All right. Um, in the court right here. Ding, so ding, <laughs> ding, 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 ding. my client um, has helped a lot of people from low income situations to be able to change their life. So if there's a problem with that, then there might be a problem with the system that you guys are a part of. Say less, man. <laughs> but yeah. So <clears throat> yeah, it was just something that somebody brought up to me. It was just interesting that it was just like, yo, Drake keeps Drake hails up a lot of people and fuck, yeah, it, it's the city, right? Like we can't help it that everybody, well not everybody, but a lot of people in the city you know they're put through the system yeah and it's part of hip-hop too like not to like put hip-hop like just into like one kind of box but like hip-hop comes from the street so mm. if you're a rap artist and you just happen to have a few friends that come from the street that's just part of the fucking territory yeah you know what i'm saying like man them used to like talk about drake like he was sweet back in the days <laughs> and i'm not talking about like some of the canadian niggas too yeah. But a lot of these American niggas is like, though, that boy, that Canadian boy, that light skinned boy, sweet. sweet yeah. I'm sure they're not singing the same fucking tune right now. Sweet meaning he's soft, by the way. Yeah. If you didn't know what Friday was saying. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, they're not singing the same fucking tune when he's rolling around with the man them. And yeah. he's helping a lot of people get out their situations. Yeah, no, you're right. 100%. I don't have a problem with it, personally. Yeah, I'm, a, you I'm, don't. A up, I'm a heal up whoever the fuck I want. Yeah. But yeah, I do see where people have that little, yo, why is he always bringing up this and that person and this and mm -hmm. who cares? Like, They're going to you know have the I'm same problem like, with us, fam. I'll yeah. tell you that for sure. Because oh, yeah. I'm going to keep on putting on, like, employing people who just came out of the fucking system. Facts. So we're we going to have the same fucking that. problem with us. We need more of that. We, mm -hmm. Because that that is the most messed up thing in the world. That somebody in the system can't get, like, you're banned from getting a certain job. A second chance. Like, that makes no... You want to rebuild... Uh, what is it? To rehabilitate people or help yeah. people. Mm -hmm. So you're going to send them to jail. And then when they come out, you're going to tell them, no, you guys can't get jobs. You got to go work the hardest jobs in the world. you like, no, 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 no. All them good jobs and them high-paying jobs, you guys can't get those. Yeah. No, no, no. We want you... We want to give you every reason to go back to fucking jail. Mm -hmm. That needs to fucking change. 1,000%. Yeah. So if a man like Drake's like, yo, I'm going to take you on tour... I'm going to put you in and, and help you get some bags so that you could change your family situation and yourself. Then I'm not fucking hating on it. Like, and if these guys, they, they keep on poking at him like, yo, why are you doing that? Why the fuck not? Yeah. If he, he, he wants to turn somebody into a cameraman, editor, producer. If whatever, he just wants to give them a bag and say, yo, just fucking go live with the bag. That's his fucking choice. The nigga worked hard, made himself a fucking mazillion, mazillionaire. Yep. And he's put on the city more than anybody, so... You let him spend his money however the fuck he want. Yeah, man. And let him pro pro promote whoever the hell he wants. Freeze! Mm. <laughs> get that freaking sound effect, please. Uh, last little thing here before we get on cut. What's your Toronto song of the year so far? Toronto song of the year? Shout out Dollar Boy Entertainment for giving me this question. Uh, You know what I'm saying? Because he gave wow, us his... that's a good question. He gave us our opinion early. And it's still pretty early, right? We're only, what, four or five months into the year. Mm -hmm. But we've got a lot of big tunes that have come out this year already. 
I'm, and I'm not gonna give you guys. I don't know how Friday's put not uh, every oh, out yeah. everything. <laughs> Last week topics I have. Jeez, sorry. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not gonna put out um who Dollar Boy said his song is. Watch the interview to find mm-hmm. out who he thought uh, who Dollar Boy thought is the song of the year so far. But Fact um, it. yeah, what's your opinion on song of the year? Look song at Friday. Of the year. I'm Friday's cheating. a slick nigga. You know what I'm saying? Going through the freaking honorable mentions in the top, in the freaking <laughs> top six. <laughs> Go pull up our top six um, songs in Canada playlist on the, our YouTube channel. Oh man. Um. I'm going to say the cliche thing to say. Two cases. Woo! Friday. Are we talking about 2020? 2021. 2021. Yeah, it dropped in 2021. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's it. So far, yeah. Mm. That's the one that stands out the fucking most. It had a whole campaign behind it before it even dropped. Yep. Six Buzz was fucking putting a foot in that promotion right there for that. Mm. There was not one person who was not aware that fucking two cases was going to drop. Mm. Academics started a whole Twitch stream. Yeah. And then I'm going to go with my, my, what I thought was going to be one of the songs of the year, and it doesn't mean that it isn't, but this shit moves fast. Um, Attachments. Mm. But didn't Attachment come 2020 though? Did it? Precious thing, the Gardner Express came out last year, no? Let's see. Check really cool. Attachments. Press, uh, <clears throat> the music video probably came out this year. Yeah, but like that's pretty much Who where knows, like been... two months ago the music video dropped. All right, three, three months, months ago, ago the so... visualizer dropped. So technically, the song is this year. It's so a 2021. Wow. So it, like the hype that was around it. Mm-hmm. All right, and I'm also going to attribute some of that to Ak as well. Right, like a lot of it to Ak. Like, it was a big, big tune, but, like, I don't know. Just so much shit has happened that I don't feel like it, does, it doesn't have the same effect that it had maybe when it first, first dropped. And that's just music, period. Yeah, that's true. Um, I'll give some honorable mentions. I'm not going to... I don't know who I would put in yet. So, I'll say... <laughs> I'm not even going to put in that one. I'll give an honorable mention to BFR Bundock 2. Mm. Bricks for the Low was very super anticipated, and it came out... It's blowing up. People are like rocking with it, right? Mm-hmm. Um, fuck, I don't know, man. <laughs> it's a fucking good question, bro. You don't even know the answer to yourself. I, when you set it up. When I was thinking about it too, but I do. I just don't want to say the song because I think. Say it, nigga. No, because it's Dollar Boy's song. I honestly feel like that might be the song of the year. Really go out and check. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say it to give it up, but I'm kind of on the verge of with Dollar Boy because that song is huge. Also, Doovy, like I'll give it up for Nightmares Part Two is super mm. freaking huge too as well. But it's um, so new to like give it that song of the year yet, bro. But it still had a huge impact. Yeah, yeah. So you know what I'm saying? When when certain songs have a certain impact, where now like obviously he was gonna go across regardless. But, like, he drops the song, and now he's over there. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Meek now. It, 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 Even though that song doesn't, like, all the music does, but they're going to look at that song as the contributor because it was the last song that came out. It's a stand-up. Yeah. So I'll throw him in there. I'm trying to think who else, man. Who, who else dropped, like, songs that really turned up Toronto this year? One sec. Oh, okay. Um... Yeah, who else put on music this year that really turned up the place? Who turned up the place? Obviously, like we, Puffy L's dropped this year. Yeah, yeah, Puffy L's. That but track "Wheel It" was, but that didn't like tear the place down. But uh, that track was fire. Young smoking bread and them. I'm trying to think if they had any songs. Lil Beretti. Everybody's still waiting on that fucking um, uh, King Von. King Von. Yeah, yeah. I think that one will definitely. But he's be dropped a lot of fire. You know what I'm saying? Because that war song is huge. We can't count, and I because I just passed um. Or books? Um, yeah. What's the name of the tune again now? Organization. Organization. Because <laughs> it's technically not out. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That doesn't count. Yeah. yeah Even yeah. though it was leaked. Uh, what about... You know what I'm surprised that you didn't say? Who? Lemon Pepper Freestyle. Because that's Drake, man. But it's, 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 Drake doesn't always have the song of the year, though. It's kind of different when it comes to Drake, man. Like, and even with that, even it's funny that you say that. And I didn't want to give you the, you might try to get into that. Like those tunes are big, but shit moves so fast that like I feel like we're over it already. <laughs> That's so true. 
because I was gonna get into M- Mula too. Can't face me. Um, he's getting more love than on fucking that for the Toronto audience. Yeah, than, than the fucking is. actual wants and needs, bro. Yeah, that's facts. Uh, people don't like wants and needs. Like, are we fucking remembering that that fucking Mula is rapping over wants and needs? <laughs> I haven't forgot it. I know I think that a lot of people don't even remember. That. But I think, yeah, I think a lot of They're people like, that's forget. A you can't yo, face like, me beat. That's a, yeah, that's a you can't face me song, yo. Yo, salute to the boy. But yeah, <laughs> he kind of did that, bro. He took that beat over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He 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 made sure if I did this beat, it would have been better. Mm. <laughs> like, um, what's next is there. Lemon Pepper Freestyle got fucking beat the shit out of. Yeah. Yeah, I guess we still got to wait. I think it's still early. Yeah. I, I think it's really too early. He needs early. to swing. He's that's Obviously, that's just off the scary hours. That's not like... But maybe he was expecting one of those to ride through the summer, fam. Who true, knows? True, true. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Because <laughs> he didn't drop the album yet. And we're still waiting, Drake. April, yeah, yeah, we're waiting. Countdown. Um, I'm trying to think of like other artists that have dropped this year. It's just hard to think of. Um, I guess it's still, yeah, I guess it's still early too. Today is a big fucking tune. You didn't mention that. Yeah, today's a big tune. John it's it's C. been out for only three weeks. It has a hundred thousand views, bro. Yeah, that's nuts. It's going crazy. Cause you could get packed today. Yeah, today, and you could get. Uh, um yeah man fuck i can't really think of any other artists i know that like there's dope songs and no diss to like any other artist standouts though there's no standout songs guys this is what i mean like when you go in there fam don't be thinking like you're making a song for the mandem bro like make some standout songs where it's just like yo holy you hear what this guy said like mm-hmm. run it back fam yeah I'm, I'm like still trying to fucking search through my brain to find like what's another standout that like we kept on like, you know, just ringing Red in your, your head. head. Yeah, it's yeah. like playing nonstop. Uh, um, don't go there. Was that last year? That last year. That's last year. Okay. Salute Roni had a lot of them last year. Mm-hmm. Same thing. Uh, sick people with Sick dead people. man and shit was yeah, last, last year. year. Yeah, last year had a lot, but I, again, still early. Still early. Yeah, four, yeah. four or five months in, still early. Yeah, so yeah. we'll see. But yeah, I guess we'll, um, I would go with Pack Today. Mm-hmm. Pack Today right now so far is one of the biggest tunes in the like most recent. Back to these hard as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> and I feel like we're forgetting a bunch of people. They'll probably shit on us in the comments. DMs, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Let us know in the but... comments, bro. We smoke a lot of weed, bro. We're like, what? Friday's like two blunts in. I'm like three. Like, <laughs> but that, well, that's just for the show. That's just for the show. <laughs> yeah. That's not for like the whole day. Ah, <laughs> uh, we gonna get on cut. <coughs> um, quick break and then we get on cut. All right, say less. <laughs> you got something you want to hear for the um break? Before we get to the uncut segment, okay, so something uncuttery. Yeah, how's it going down? Um, Can we play the intro? <laughs> of course. Oh, they oh, it's the edited one. Oh, they cut that shit off. No, 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 no. They ain't gonna play me like that because. Yeah. I- <laughs> nah, nah, nah. This nigga got the subscription. I'm you a, gonna pull up that edited skit, my G. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a dark man X fan. Uncut episode forty four. IP DMX fan. Send. Here we go. Let's get it. Boy, that would have been an uncut talk. We were getting pre. No, I'm not even gonna say that. Fire! Six views. Uncut. Uncut. Episode 44. We getting uncut right now. Um, little question I have for Friday here. Yes, sir. Somebody was asking if we would date somebody that had OnlyFans. 
of course. Woo, right off the bat. I, I have no problem with that shit, man. <laughs> Those old porn stars, OnlyFans. You know, listen, I, it's not even that I wouldn't mind, like I wouldn't have a problem with it. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't mind it. So You know how much bread they make, bro? What if your thing's getting smashed by somebody else, though? That's <laughs> another thing. Because, like, <laughs> more times, like... So, what's yeah, what's the limit? What's the cutoff point, too? Because, like, she's showing a lot. She's doing a lot. Like, if I already pulled up on you and you're doing porn, right? Like, you're already taking cocky from a whole bunch of n- another niggas and shit. Like, it doesn't mean I'm not going to date you. But we're going to have to have, like, some kind of conversation about... This is going to sound crazy. Y'all are going to try to eat my back out. I don't care. You know, what dicks are you going to be taking now that we're in a relationship for your films? You so does it saying? matter? Like, so, so well, like, it... you can't just take no randos anymore. They all have to be film associated. They all have to be tested. You know what I'm saying? Because it's not like I can... It's not like when I was in the game, a chick can come and tell me, oh, don't hustle no more. I'm stopping when I'm ready to stop. Facts. Right? So I'm not going to come uh, hit up a girl start getting into a relationship with her and tell her now get off of OnlyFans or you can't take no more dick when I found her taking dick. So what if a thing tells you, oh, well, you can only hustle this so you can only hustle that now. Well, then we're probably going to break up. <laughs> or it's already happened before. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Come on, fam. So you don't have no pro- So I guess it's just uh, I'm, the dick part. It's just, that's the it, only problem because like, you know, I've, I've seen some OnlyFans before. I'm not, I no shame in my game. You know what I'm saying? I've watched porn, and what I prefer is to see a chick by herself dealing with the matas. Oh, you only like solo dolo? No, I don't only like that, but that's, that's one of my preference. more preferences. Nah, that's weird. That's funny you said that. I don't like that shit, bro. Yes, you. I don't. I hate to like even. If, yo, Maybe I I'm vanilla. You. I'm a weird you. No, no, no. I'm just a weird you. Like if a girl isn't sending me a freaking video, don't send me no corny video, fam. Too. No, like, send me I, a video. Send Friday a video of you playing with yourself. I'm good with that. Send Gutsy a video of you getting your back blown out. Don't send Gutsy a video. Like you know, what I'm saying Gutsy's married. Don't do that. But I'm saying, like you know what I'm saying. <laughs> send it to my girl or something of you getting your back blown out. She'll show it to me. Yeah, that's cool too. But like, it better be an old video. Don't you try to rope me in. Like, look how look how I take dick on this new dick I got last week. Mm-hmm. I'm probably not gonna pull up on you. You know what I'm saying? Look what I did last week. That's another interesting thing too, right? Like, I guess I got to ask a girl, like, if you send, like, because girls always say, like, the same thing too, like, send videos of shit. What if a guy said, like, a girl a video of them smashing somebody? How would a girl take it? If any of the like, female listeners in the comments, let's go. Yeah, I don't know the answer to that. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Have you ever sent a video of you smashing a thing to a video, uh, to a girl? No. I don't think I've ever did that. I don't know what the reason... W- like, you got to figure out what the reason why you will be sending a thing, a woman, a video of you smashing another woman. Like, was it requested? Because if it's requested, then That's fine. That's different, yeah. But if it's like, this is how I'm trying to get you, then she has to be a different kind of freak. Send me a freaky video. And you send her a video of you backshotting a chick. <laughs> you blowing this bitch back out, B. She might have been talking about like a a jerk off video or something like that. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not doing that. You know what I'm saying? I'm, maybe I'm vanilla. I keep on, when I say, I, I hate saying no, I'm not doing that. Mm-hmm. But I'm just not sending no dick pics out. Like, I'm not giving y'all no receipts to fucking try to six buzz me later or some type of bullshit. Six buzz, look. Double H's piece. <laughs> Post that. Right? It's just, it's, that's ammo. It's ammo when, you know what I mean? If I worked at Walmart, then fine. Yeah, I'm not doing that. Not Actually, no. If I worked at Walmart, then still not fine. I'm doing that at Walmart, though. If I'm podding, though, nah, because I'm trying to get a big bag, so I know, like, you know what I'm saying? If Your they dick's going to end up on Twitter, bro. Yeah, no. I said one, one time, and I didn't feel good about it, since we're getting a cut. Um, Yeah. I, I didn't feel comfortable with the whole production, the pre-production and the setup of how to send this dick pic to this chick. Right? You got to do too I didn't, much. I didn't realize it was this much yeah. work that had to be done before. Like, you know what I mean? Because I heard of the concept. Like, mm-hmm. right? But then I'm like, well, oh, fuck. She's going to want a hard dick pic. If you're, if you're a grower and not a short, <laughs> you got to work for that one. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
And then you gotta keep it up because it's not it's not like you're pining, so you just gotta keep it. <laughs> I'm, 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 they're gonna kill us today. But I'm also thinking like now like oh shit, how shiny am I making it look? Because like obviously <laughs> like holy, this man taking it far, fam. I'm a production guy, fam. Holy, I'm not even thinking about that. I've never done that when I've set one. You can't be sending a chick no ashy dick, mm, right? So I'm just thinking facts. about all this shit. And then I finally sent it, and then I just felt fucked when I pressed sent, bro. <laughs> and this is like, I don't even know what kind of phone. This is not the type of phones that we have yeah, now. No, like, yeah, it wasn't yeah, like, smartphone time. It was time. a razor. It was like, I think it was a right after the razor. <laughs> who, who's the one? And um, listen, there's a shorty out there who knows who she is, who got mm, this. Because I don't it's the have. Nokia. It's the Nokia one. <laughs> it could have been an Nokia. It could have been an Nokia, okay? But there's only one that ever went out there into the world. And because it's an old school type of phone, I'm sure she didn't transfer it into her iPhone or whatever, whatever. Shout out to her. Um, but there's only one. So it's not like you could like, you got, you know, you got to go thinking, oh, which, you know, the girl who, who got the pic, she knows who the fuck she is. <laughs> All I know, that's crazy that you said that. There's somebody back in the day that has a phone of me. Mm. It's pining beard things, doing the fucking... American Psycho ah, ah, pose because ah, that was my ah, thing after I seen the movie right I would go I take my phone and I go like this and uh, thing <laughs> yo my crazy. bro took the phone to work and he lost the phone fam mm. and I was like yo what go on so somebody has like at least five videos well of just gutsy going like that but yeah I guess I going back to the OnlyFans girls um hold I on think. before you go back to the OnlyFans girls I have one um fake page that was made of me back in the days what the hell high five salute to high Shout five high five okay shorty and this is one of my exes right we were such in war and she was the only one who had pictures of me without gear i was naked in the pics right she used that in the fucking high picture? five oh a picture of the god Cover and she, she, you know, she was like, she took a pic and I was like, yo, shorty, chill, right? Oh my god, Friday, what kind of toxic guy? We're uncut, day? right? Come no, on. but I'm just trying to think, what kind of toxic girls are you I getting yourself was some, into? Some molten lava toxicity. Holy, type the girl of that took pictures and freaking, yo, I'm convinced that all your trolls are female. I don't even think that wow, they're niggas let's out not here, go down bro. That road. <laughs> I think all these freaking pages that be getting at you, the fake Friday They're page, all my exes. They're all the exes, fam. I don't even think that they're the mandem. Mm, There's probably one of them that are the mandem. The rest of them are all the galdem, fam. What? A oh, girl. <laughs> yeah, I guess, I guess I'm not fly like that. I'm not putting it down like that because I've never had that. Mm. They've came to my workplace. They've done some crazy shit, but not that. I've been threatened to be put back on um, to get my parole broken. I'll call your work and let them know that you're a fucking criminal. Yeah, I, I've got that. Woo! Galdem could get deep when they want to fucking make your day bad, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They know dig the into right your button. soul, bro. Man just triggered me. <laughs> I can't with the Yo, the man just triggered me. Like, holy, what do you mean? The Galdem need to fix up, fam. I'll tell them that you're a dirty crack dealer. Oh man, but yeah, um, I'm not dealing with the only five girl. Unless it's Chromos. Well, you're so you're not. Nah. Interesting. Like if you weren't in in your relationship. Mm -hmm. I don't. Know. I thought you would be the guy who would say, "Yeah, fuck it." I think I'm trying to get. Uh I think it'd be different if I already had the bag, but I think because I'm trying to get to a bag, mm -hmm. I think it'd be a different situation. Like I, we can't so leave this, fam. Like, what? But why not, fam? Are they not? A, they're not up to your standard, my G. No, it has nothing to do with them. I just feel like I'm, I'm looking at it, and it's no diss to them. I just think right now where I'm at right now, I wouldn't do it. Mm. I think I would wait till I get a bag, and I'm in a position where that wouldn't hurt me because you know how they. It's already they're already gonna come at me regardless. I know. So for you think some that would hurt you? I think that the way that everything is, if you don't already have something set up, mm -hmm. it could be a setback. 
Just my opinion. I just think you you know how the, sex is so taboo. Yeah, 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 so yeah. you having somebody that has a OnlyFans besides you, and you're trying to grow as a podcaster, a new podcaster, and a yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, I see. Yeah. I think they would look at me like, ah, do we want like? But his wife is an OnlyFans. Do we want to give this to? Do we want us to Spotify? Fuck. Do we want to give this guy back? But what about Adam Twenty Two? He gets all kind but of. But he's bags. already had that before. No, nah, he didn't start off with landing the plug. Hmm? His first couple of years with No Jumper, like they weren't together. No Jumper's been on for a while. That's what I'm saying. So right? he built. That's what I'm saying. He built that. Whereas I'm still like, this is a year, fam. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Like yeah. I'm still, I'm building. I'm pretty sure. Well, me, what you're talking about this, like two, three years, God willing, work habits and everything. I'm gonna be at different levels. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know, if Gussie becomes single, you know, the gal them, that's a different situation. That's fucking interesting, man. So I I don't think right now, just on a building, I'm just I'm trying to build, and yeah, I don't yeah, want to yeah, have yeah. anything affect me right now because I already have fuck. I have one asterisk, so mm-hmm. I don't want any more, and yeah. I feel like that right now might just kind of slow it down. I don't know. Maybe it's because of all the episodes of Zay Link. Like my mind has become so much more open to just the fact that it's just another job. Like I had no, I I had nothing wrong with it. Like, there's nothing wrong with it. And or just another before, way of making yeah. income. Yeah. But I think if you're, like, on there, like, actually selling sex, that that's tricky, right? Yeah. Well, if like I like, told you where my line is. Yeah, right? yeah. Your solo stuff. So, that's that's fine, right? But yeah. if you're on there, you're getting with different porn stars, you're doing amateur stuff. You know what I'm saying? It, it, yeah, it, gets, it gets tricky, fam. I don't know. Like, some of them porn stars, because there's people who are porn actresses, and then there's porn stars. Like the ones who like make big money and they're like famous and shit like that. Mm. Like if I'm a famous nigga and I end up with like a famous porn star chick and like you know you see me out on Rodeo Drive with her, like I don't see nothing fucking wrong with it. I don't give a fuck. Again, you're just like you said, you're a famous nigga. Now you're not a famous nigga though. It's different, fam. But I feel like if I'm not a famous nigga. All the hood niggas be like, a lie. You got that girl that I beat off to all the time? That's crazy. And she got mad bags. How did you even do that? Look where Friday just went with it like a real Toronto man. Yeah, all the but, um, hood niggas. I don't give a fuck about the hood I niggas. Know, they ain't paying my I bills. know. But like at the same time, as far as like just from the view perspective, the public view perspective. And I don't think that it's going to interfere with me getting bags if I'm able to fucking get, pe- get with people who are making bigger bags than me already. You mm. know what I'm saying? Like, if I'm not making as much as this OnlyFans girl, right? Let's assume. Mm-hmm. Because, to be honest, I feel like I make more money than a lot of these OnlyFans girls. I do too. Right? But, and that's no diss to y'all. It's just, I'm just talking facts. Um, but if I'm not, I think they'll be looking at me like, okay, well, at least you're getting around the money. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I know the way that they kind of look, they, they look at the sex work and Ray Tay Tay. You know that that part of it, that's my only part of it, how people, you coming up and, and you're like, oh, well, this guy's dating a, a popular freaking OnlyFans girl. It's just like, I know how it would, to the bag, I just feel like they'll, they just, uh, they'll be hesitant. I guess we've got to agree to disagree on that because as an independent content creator, I feel like we are, we're able to make our own fucking destinies and like mm. create our own narratives, do what we need to fucking do. You know what I'm saying? True, true, true. You know what I mean? True. Like we're not employed by an NBC or a complex or something where they're like, or Disney, like fucking my boy was, right? Where it's like, you can't do this and you can't do that. This, this is definitely not going to be here. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, if you make good content that a lot of people are fucking with, like it doesn't matter who the fuck you sleep with. You know what I'm saying? Do you guys want a piece of it so that you can make some money off of it too? Because we've been making we've been making a lot of money off of it, and that's how the, the game works, right? No, I'm just saying. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I know. Right? I know you're, like yeah, as yeah, you yeah. grow, as you grow, and you grow, and you grow. Whether you don't, whether you're like you have the fucking partnerships or not, you're already making the bag. Bag, yeah, that's facts. Right. So now, and you're doing it on your own fucking terms. Yeah, that's true. You know what I'm saying? So if I'm fucking twenty porn stars. Do you guys watch my content or not? Yeah, it shouldn't matter. It shouldn't matter. I just feel like... Like, if it starts making people less... Way. Less people start watching our content then and it starts different. fucking with the bag, then I'm dropping you, shorty. I'm sorry. <laughs> but if it's not affecting the viewership... She's and out of here. You're... Right? But if the fucking viewership keeps on going up and then they see me on the fucking road with this bad bitch that they all want to fuck, they're all subscribed to, she shows me their fucking credit cards... Yeah, 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 why not? 
It's a soft thing. Well, yeah. A little conversation that we can put it there. Mm. We can throw that Zalix. Okay, okay. Also, uh, before we get out of here, how far are we going on live, man? What do you mean? How far are you taking your live? Because like, we've seen a lot of crazy shit that's been going on on live. Like, fuck, we've seen people get robbed on live, shot on live. But I'm more talking about the freakier shit where we're seeing, like, people are fucking on live. No. People I'm, are... No, I'm the wrong person to ask this <clears throat> question, bro. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't want to cut your, your, your line of, of thinking here. But, like, fam, I'm always looking at, like, we got to stay within the guidelines. Sometimes when we do lives and salute to El Patron and, and 3000 Browning, I love when they pop up. And they, they fucking give the, the audience and myself some eye candy to look at. And they start shaking ass. Mm. But I'd be worried when I'm ready to post that shit. Like, please, Instagram, do not give me no message when I wake up tomorrow morning. El Patron with that dark skin. Yeah. Yeah. Brown in with the caramel. But yeah. But I'm looking to be like, please, no pussy lips fall out. It's not like I don't want to <laughs> see pussy lips. You know what I'm saying? But like, I just don't want to Instagram to come for our page because... You know, we make money off of that too, fam. Like, we're not trying to fuck up our bags out here. Can Instagram... I don't even want to give out the idea. Nah, I don't even want to talk about the idea. <laughs> so, like, stuff like this is a little too wild, right? That's too wild, right? Holy... <laughs> <laughs> I can't even find the sound effect I was looking for. Oh, oh my god! My god. Ow. Ow. We got one thousand people in there. That's not a lot either. That's that's happening on Instagram right now. Mm-hmm. Holy! F- my bad. Not right now. We, we recorded that's, this. That's a receipt. Me and Gucci recorded. You know, we like to have our receipts there. Whoa! Mm-hmm. And damn, shorty, them shits is nice. Yeah, boy. Oh, That's yeah, crazy. That, I got, I got, I got, I got. God damn. God damn. That's too much, right? <sighs> Obviously. How are they letting that off? That's what I want to know. How is even, like, Whoa. the fact that that's even going on. Listen, and comment going on gang, if you could see what the fuck I was just watching, what Gussie's showing me right now, that is out of order. Not out of order. <laughs> I'm completely cool with that, but Instagram is allowing that? Like, whoa. Because that's, like, that's at least, what, 30, what, 40 seconds? That's one in Fam, that's straight porn. Oh, snap. So does wow. Insta- does Instagram have to lay up, though? I think that Instagram needs to Yo, do... Yo, fam, they found a life hack or something, my G. I can tell you what it is. I just don't want to give it away. <sighs> Gutsy's fucking getting mixy. Fuck it. Niggas is making fake accounts, fam. That's yeah. not enough, fam. I'm sorry. That's not enough of an it explanation. Is. Bro, look. You make the fake account, and then you pin... Yo, follow this. Okay, cool. But how are they getting away with letting this fake account fly for that long? Is that, that okay? Here's the, does because, that account still exist right now on that phone? I doubt it. Check. No, my 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 thing's taking too long. We might have to get back to that next. <laughs> what's the what's the at? Fuck, I can't. There's Instagram. I'm quite. trying to fucking look at the goddamn fucking letters, but I'm just seeing so much bacchanal. I'm like, it's hard to focus, bro. Get 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 it, get 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 it. They get an uncut on the phone. Cutsy. On the Insta the Live. Fuck. Bro, the shit I be seeing on Insta Live is crazy, my G. Okay, here we go. I found the page. Is this the shorty? This is one of the pages. This is the that shorty with the big the tits. shorty, yeah. She's fine. Why be D... Should I... I don't give a fuck. Why be D Mob 6098? Jesus Christ. Let's see what's in her stories. These big old fucking tig old biddies. Holy shit. Jesus those are like, Christ. You're cooking those today, are like my G. M cups. Oh my God. G cups. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I feel like Instagram should should do like an Insta live. Uh, Insta uncut. You don't think? I think they should be because people fuck with Instagram, bro. And it's like they have something here, bro. So I feel like instead of giving this to OnlyFans, fam. 
figure out a way to like get an uncut live or like yo figure out a way where people can actually get away with this and they're not getting like little kids and shit like that because if you're able to monitor these lives you can monitor the people that are getting in figure out a way that you can do that um just you can't do it on instagram fam i'm sorry like this you just can't do it no i'm not trying to tell anybody what to do i'm just saying for these guys here and all these people who are trying to get away with it it's like I'm sorry, fam. Like, there's platforms for this. I don't want to be fucking Mr. Soapbox goody goody two shoes, but like, fam, why does everybody so hell bent on putting porn on Instagram? Why? Because Instagram's a lick. That's where everybody is. When but, you wake up, where's the first but thing? Also, you... is OnlyFans. But OnlyFans is harder, fam. People don't. You have to give up too much information. Okay, that's, well to, then. That's you don't have to give up your. Then. You don't have to give up your like, credit card information to get on where there. kids fucking surf, but everybody's so hell bent on showing pussy and dick. Like, why? I don't want to be the fucking Debbie Downer or whatever, but why is it that fucking important to put that on a platform that doesn't allow it? I can't tell you, fam. You know what I'm saying? It, will it make you more money to have it on that platform? Depends. Depends if you're monetizing you it. There's a pl- there's a whole platform where bitches and niggas is making or women and ni- women and men are making millions. Some of them, yeah. But everybody wants to be like this has to be on the gram yeah. so that my fucking ten year old kid could fucking see it maybe one day and stumble upon the fucking page because we're looking for something else. You know what it is because too? I want to fucking show somebody's pussy on the gram. It's a follow body team. Everybody sees one person doing it and it's just like, all right, I got to be the next person to do like, it. I got to be the next person to do it. Like, like It's I like gotta... YouTube is not the platform to show fucking tits. But nobody's fighting YouTube to fucking show tits on, on fucking, uh, to show, show tits. Yeah, that's facts. But they want to sh- fucking do it on Instagram because it's easier to put it in your fucking phone. That's lazy. You want to make some money, find another fucking way. Friday stuff is being facts, like always. Fucking lazy motherfuckers. You fucking... Backward ass hustlers. Don't do that. Don't do that because like, like. Uh, I don't give a <laughs> shit. <laughs> if it makes you more money, then fine. If it don't, then what the fuck? Find another platform, fam. Yo, dog, yeah, the man I'm having cool out on the lives, fam. That's why I, I told I, you, I, my mic gonna be getting loud this year, and if maybe not everybody's gonna like the shit that's coming out of my mouth, fam. Coming from the guy that said he wasn't doing no rants this year. <laughs> man like nope y'all niggas is fucked up we gotta show but yeah the, the insta lives they're wild bro i i showed you a couple of them too like the other one like w- shit is wild bro i'm just like, like it's like you're trying to force your foot that's a size 11 into a nine shoe mm. it ain't gonna fit hey man if your page gets shut down because of these Instagram lives, then don't cry thing. about that don't shit. Don't cry yeah. about it, eh? Don't cry to me about it. Hopefully, you guys don't care about it like I do because I'm not trying to get my page cut off no more. Fuck that. But yeah, man, I think we got enough pot in yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll get enough DMs about this. <laughs> um, you want to give the people your Instagram so they can get a hold of you? Friday, Ricky Dread, all social media platforms, DRED. Uh, make sure to follow our website, we love hiphop.ca for everything else. Same. Uh, Gutsy Guts on all social media platforms Mr. Gutsy Guts on Twitch The Real Gutsy Guts on TikTok Gutsy Guts on YouTube man Subscribe, subscribe Gutsy Guts And yeah, follow the man them Follow the team Six Views T.O. on all social media platforms And yeah, man What you want? Um, What you want? I think we got I felt like slipping But I think we gotta do Get at me, dog mm, Good choice I'm you not trying to saying? listen to slipping for about a week. Fam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Six views uncut episode 44. Yeah. RIP X, man. Where my dogs at? If I wouldn't be, it wouldn't be better!